Hey you all, I just wanted to come to you with a quick word and it really is just about what the enemy is doing in this hour to knock the body of Christ off track. And this goes for most people within the body of Christ, right? Because the goal is to delay the plans that God has for you, right? Because we know in the book of Jeremiah, he tells us that he has plans and a hope and a future for you, right? But the goal is to delay the plans of God in your life, right? And we understand that that can happen because we have our own free will and the enemy understands that. So what he'll try to get you to do is do like Eve did in the garden, right? She used her own free will to eat of the tree, right? The tree that God said, do not eat of, right? Satan wants you to do the same thing. He wants you to move outside of the will of God to delay the plans that God has for your life. And he's doing this by two ways, right? I was seeking God and he began to show me in the spirit what the enemy is doing in this hour to trip up the body of Christ, right? To knock you off of, off track, right? To knock you off your feet, right? There's two ways. It's going to be really quick, right? It's comparison. Comparison is the first way. And it's this idea that the grass is greener on the other side. It's this idea that if you just do this, right, the thing that God told you not to do, then you'll have the life that you've always wanted, right? It's another form of covetedness, right? It's another form of idolatry, looking at something that other people have and wishing that you had it or thinking that you have to do the same thing that they, they did to reach a certain level of success or to, to reach what you deemed to be successful right it's the idea that the grass is greener on the other side but what satan isn't showing you right it's all trickery what he's not showing you is what they had to sacrifice to get what it is that they have in life right what they had to do to get what it is that they have in like life right what they had to lose what they have to do on a consistent basis what they're doing to keep that lifestyle right the things that they have to do to maintain that lifestyle right the grass is not greener on the other side right and the second way is confusion right confusion through multiple different voices and i want to just stress this to you it does not mean that the multiple different voices all these voices are wrong it doesn't mean that all of these all this advice all these directions that you're getting right is wrong and it just means that it's not for you it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong it just means that the message isn't for you and so he'll use multiple different voices speaking in your ear giving conflicting directions and instructions on what you should do right does not mean again that it's wrong instructions but it's not the message for you in this season that god wants you to take heed to that god wants you to listen to and the enemy understands this so he's sending confusion through multiple different voices and i need you to understand this that satan is a liar and he's the father of lies so he's going to use lies right at the root of the confusion at the root of the comparison and the grass is greener on the other side it's all lies understand this and so i was asking god what can we do what can your people do lord to combat this in this hour to combat the uh, the enemy trying to throw comparison right covetousness and idolatry at your children right and confusion and the, uh, the Lord said to seek him, seek the voice of God specifically. And if you're having trouble seeking the voice of God, turn to God's word, right? And if you're having trouble understanding God's word, I want you to just sit and be quiet. Take time to be with the Lord and listen for whatever comes to mind, right? Listen for the voice of God, right? Sit as long as you need to in silence and complete solitude. Listen for either if you hear a, a, a name of a book, a book, a book of the Bible, right? Or a scripture, right? Whatever that is, do not fight it. Go to it and ask God for revelation on what it is that he's trying to tell you in this hour.